Okay, hello everyone. So in today's video, I'll be replacing the battery on this UPC unit, or it's called an uninterrupted power supply unit, and this is from CyberPower. And the model is, you can find the model number here on the back of the case says right here let me read that it says uh, this is a CP 425 SL it's a CP 425 GA CP 425 HGA so this is a CP 4825 model whatever it is maybe it's a CP 425 SL SLG which is right there and the type of battery that it uses is something like this it's a 12 volt 3.2 amp hour battery the battery is called TLV 1232F1 this is a lead acid battery. Make sure you get this type of battery. And right now, this battery is bad. So I have a voltage meter here. I'm gonna set it at two digits. I'm gonna put the positive and negative. Let me. Okay, this is negative, this is positive. This is about 7.23 to 2, 7.434, 7.44 volts. So obviously this battery is bad. And it hasn't been working with my UPS unit. So I have to replace this. So I did get a new battery today. Actually, I put it in here already, but I'm gonna show you how you can take it out. So this is how you can check if, check to see if your battery is good or bad, which I did with this voltage meter. And I'll leave it in the video descriptions below if you want to uh, purchase one if you don't have one already and to take this out you just flip it over like this whoops let's see if that's a good camera angle just like that and we need something called a Torx head screwdriver bit this is a 10 piece the one that you want out of here is this one right here let me show you what this is this is a T9 I don't know if you can see that or not this is a T9 bit so I have my screwdriver here put it here and there's one hole one screw that's holding this in place which is right right here just put it in there and unscrew it uh, the bit is magnetic by the way so I should be able to just pull it out like that because it sticks right to it and now I can take out the battery you just press down on that and just comes out like so so this is a battery that I replace it with so I'll show you how to take it out and put it back in so you just take it out like that there's two leads you just pull it out Put both of the leads out like that and I'm gonna test the new battery and show you that this battery that I got is good actually so let me test it out turn on my 
multimeter, multimeter. As you can see, new battery is 12.57 volts, which means this is a good battery. This is new. This is the one I, I just got. So to put this back in, you just put this lead connected to the red one, which you see right here. Connect the black one. The black is negative. I don't know if you can see that or not. Black one, you just connect it to that. And that's it. It goes in just one way, like this way, as you can see this part right here. And I'm going to connect the black one to the black one. This is how it's set, like this. It goes in that way. The other one is towards that direction. Goes in just like that. And you just set it into your UPS unit, like, like so. And you just get the cover again. Just put it in like that. So the way you get this in is, you get it in like this, and then just slide it in, and just put the screw back in, this screw, just put it back in to that hole. Let me view the camera so I can see this, okay, just drop it in there. screw it in don't over tighten it just make sure it's not it's in there nice and firm that's it just take the bit out put it back into my thing it's probably going to take a couple of hours for it to charge up so you should just leave it plugged into the wall for a couple of hours and uh, you should have your UPC UPS unit running again and that's pretty much it that's how you replace it and test the battery and um, replace the battery so when you get a battery just make sure you measure the dimensions of the battery like the height of the battery the length of the battery and the width of the battery because if the battery is a little bit too big then it's not going to fit in this housing and then you're going to have to return it so make sure you uh get the right battery when you uh replace it so this is a this model is a cyber power 425 sl something slg and uh, that's how you replace the battery on this model and now it's ready to go if you have any questions, uh, you could leave in the comment section below and thanks for watching.